we're probably uh, near two weeks, could be more, uh, before we actually start to see debris removal. The well, work continues tonight, cleaning up after that massive fire in downtown Springfield. Thanks for being with us for WAND News at 6. It's been 48 hours since that fire ripped through a historic building in downtown Springfield. Tonight, people trying to figure out the next steps as the weekend begins. WAND's Mike Militich has covered the fire since Wednesday and joins us live in Springfield with the latest. Mike? Sean, Alyssa, good evening. There will be squad cars and officers surrounding the 400 block of East Adams here for the foreseeable future. But don't be alarmed. They're just here to make sure no one gets too close to the property that was tore apart by that fire. O'Shea Builders and Hanson Engineering hope to go in and stabilize the building on Tuesday. Mike O'Shea says the stabilization effort itself may take at least a week to complete. However, it may take longer because engineers don't know the breadth or depth of what they have to do with the property. If I had to speculate, we're probably uh, near two weeks, could be more, uh, before we actually start to see debris removal and the continuation of the demolition efforts. Uh, because if we continue them prior to that point, we, we risk collapse of the adjacent structures. Costs of the damage to 413 East Adams and the properties on either side are still unknown. Springfield Mayor Misty Busher is working with the owner of Cafe Maxo to try and find them a temporary location. The owner says this is critical as the restaurant has been a staple in the downtown community. We have had an unbelievable amount of restaurants, uh, catering companies, hotels um, reach out to us and offer us um, kitchen space or to turn that existing space into a Cafe Moxo. City leaders say the farmer's market will go on as planned Saturday morning, but the market will be moved closer to 2nd Street to keep everyone safe. Supporting our farmers and our small business is key, and I think that to, through collaboration and continued engagement, we can really see the city of Springfield thrive and see the community that we have here. The Springfield Office of Planning and Economic Development is working with the 12 people displaced from nearby apartments as well. City leaders tell WAND that they've been in frequent contact with the Pritzker administration. However, the mayor says the city cannot request emergency funding from the state until they know all the damage to businesses and apartments. There will also be an Am Street bar crawl tomorrow night hosted by BuzzBomb, Ad Astra, and Bloom. They will each have donation buckets to help their neighbors that are going through the worst right now. For now, reporting live in Springfield, Mike Miltich, WAND News.